Say I'm grateful for not anything but everything. Every loss I had to take, I took it on the chin. Enjoy the luxury of life. Now I know what it's ever for real. Hola. Take me high. Teach you all the signs of love. Flower bomb. Let me guess your favorite phrase. And you got that bomb. <laughs> I'm trying to detonate. No disrespect, me, baby. Just try and make you smile. Try to keep my spirits up. That's why I lay down. Try to keep your spirits up. Little vodka, whatever. Took you forever. Took you stressed. I acknowledge your effort. So I clap for her. She deserves an applause. Shawty working so hard. She deserves that baton. Shawty wake your baton. Racing through my mind like she heard that. I got that word. I heard that she been on strike. Can't tell. I need your mind. She been on them dollars first. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. All right guys, I'm gonna pick up where I left off in my last video. So in the last video, I was trying to make an African dish. I stopped at an African store. I stopped at an African restaurant and I picked up some African fufu. And uh, I'm about to try to make an African soup. Some of the Africans use different meats, like they use goat meat, fish, beef, uh, pork, you know, different things, that they, whatever they want, right? So this is what I'm going to be using. Let me show you guys all the stuff I have. Man, I have a whole lot of stuff sitting here, y'all. Okay, so we'll be trying the ginger beer, which they told me this is not African, this is Jamaican. But one of the African ladies who braid my hair told me to purchase this. So one of the Africans gave me this Guinness beer. Yesterday, an African gave me some star beer. I'm just just in the mood to wham well, off for a week to be making different nationality dishes. I'm gonna see can I keep up with you guys. So while we doing that, let's. I don't know if I. I wonder, do you need a can opener? It feel like I need a can opener for this y'all. But while we uh wait, let's be trying out some of these drinks. If I can get it up, y'all. Help. Okay, I get it. I think I get it. Oh Lord, I don't get it. What in the world are they coming up with? I don't think it's coming up, y'all. No, I don't think I'm gonna be able to taste it. Okay, this star beer, I couldn't twist it off. It's not a Swiss cap kind of beer. So I'm gonna use my can opener. And, uh oh. So let's, cheers, let's taste. I don't drink beer, but maybe today I do. Oh, I got the paper? I think I got the paper in my mouth. Let's try it again, though. Baby, it tastes like some old 211 I had a long time ago. Okay, let's try. Cheers. This Guinness. I'm gonna tell y'all which one I like the best. The Guinness is leave an aftertaste in your mouth. Oh, it's extra strout or something. All right, y'all. Now let's taste the ginger beer. Cheers. The ginger for the win, baby. I'm gonna drink this with the meal. I like this one. It don't taste like beer dye. Yeah, I know I love ginger and I don't know what else they put in it, but it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good. Okay, guys, let me show y'all what I like having. Let me move these beers out the way. Now, he gave me so many beers. Look. 
Man in the African store gave me these. I don't know what kind of peppers these is, but they, they like a dry pepper. And um, I'm going to use my peppers because they look like they about to wither. And um, a bell pepper, a red pepper, onion. They told me to black, it's about this seasoning. I got some fresh okra. Garlic. I don't know if I say onion already. The young man gave me these to put in there. They told me I had to buy some red oil. I'm using salt and pepper. Garlic powder. I'm gonna be adding red kidney beans. And Brussels sprouts. So y'all, let's get started. I'm a beer head now. We're gonna start with my Aldi finds. Let me show y'all. I got these pajamas out of Aldi, y'all, yesterday. <coughs> and the size medium. <coughs> I got me some summer spring shoes up out of Aldi, y'all, yesterday. Do y'all like these? Oh, you gotta pull both of these out like back in the days. You can't just pull one out. <laughs> but look. Is these cute to y'all? These real cute to me, y'all. They some take me back to my childhood days. Got these in size eight. These was like 12 right now. And I also got This glass bowls, glass mixing bowl set. This pretty in y'all. Okay. Let me show y'all what my parent bought me. I take care of her daughter. She bought me this, y'all. Big old pack of Victoria's Secret pennies. Hopefully, he has here. 
What is it, y'all? Victoria's Secret Tease. She said it's just like a token of appreciation. Oh, look, y'all. I feel like a boss. Oh, my God. I'm finna call and thank her. I'm finna call and thank her, y'all. I hope she woke. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know I looked at it with a black bottle. I'm so excited, y'all. This is too cute. It comes with a little flower. It's so pretty. I just opened my perfume. I just want to say thank you. I love you. This in a black bottle with a rose. you babe I love you keep keep up the good work keep going I call you tomorrow y'all so grateful y'all sometimes when you do stuff from the heart sometimes when you do stuff from the heart you don't be respecting no rewards you just do what you're passionate about doing, right? This was a token of appreciation to me. She bought me a big pack of Victoria's Secret pennies, y'all. Something that I probably wouldn't even buy myself. Like, let's see. Oh, I sprayed the wrong way. Hope it ain't getting a fool, y'all. I'm screwing with that. Oh my God, y'all, this smells so pretty, y'all. I, I smell so pretty, like, keep going, y'all. Keep keep being nice to people, y'all. But y'all, let me show. Kay had about me a present too, y'all. Let me see what Kay brought me. I want an address and my address to show. Let's see what Kay got me, y'all. Thank you, Kay. Oh, y'all know Kay the queen of shades. Kay got her girl Tasha some shades. Oh, Kay. I'm so forever grateful. I'm going to wear these outside tomorrow. I'm sorry my hair and stuff ain't big. Y'all, I feel like a boss. You don't be knowing what, what you mean to other people. It's some more presents in here. She gave me a personal card. Y'all know she called me T-Baby. And it said it was a lot cooler in my head. I guess I got a journal. Okay, you got tears in my eyes. You and my daycare parent. Y'all keep being nice. You know, sometimes people don't know what they mean to the world until they did and gone, right? Like Martin Luther King did all that good stuff for everybody. He didn't even know that that right now today that the world still is telling people about him. He didn't know that streets are named after him in different states, cities. Because it wasn't like that when he was here. So keep going, y'all, so we can get our flowers while we're here. Look, y'all. <laughs> Kay, you know Kay love dressing up on all y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna read it. I'm crying, y'all. You know I'm gonna cry, baby, y'all. I'm a gym that one sad cry, one sad, wanna fight, y'all. It said, T baby, thank you for coming into my life, friend. We laugh, we cry, and pray together. And we Gemini twins. Blood couldn't make us any closer. My tea, baby. Love you, Kaylani. I love you, Kaylani. This was a token of her appreciation of our friendship. Yeah, I love crying. I'm ugly. <laughs> I don't got no lashes on. I already look like I don't feel good. Y'all, I just want to say one more time. Michael Jackson didn't even know what he meant to the world. You know what I'm saying? And right now, today... 
kids on TikTok dancing to his music, y'all. Sometimes you don't know what you mean to people. And then you get in your own head. Y'all, we got to get out of our head, chase this bag, and we got to do what's right by God, you know? Let the other people do them. But we continue to be a blessing to somebody and let God keep on sending blessings our way. So, I'm still cooking our African dish. So now I'm about to go ahead and put the water on for the okra kabool and then I put all the stuff in one pot. Let's go. Now that I put on my stunning shade shit. <laughs> I don't know how to act. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to add in these little cubes. Um, so I'm gonna put, he told me to put two in there, but I'm gonna put one. And I'm gonna put the okra in and the other stuff. kidney beans i'm a i'm a journal because 2024 has been good to me every day i'm gonna write down something i'm grateful for and so i'll fill this thing up thank you so much for being a friend see y'all so it is like 11 something at night i am through with my african soup okra soup i wish i would have had chopped up my okra because when i made some the other day i had frozen okra so you know how to already be small because i didn't want my okra in these big chunks so this is how it turned out for my ginger beer and my coffee mug and i'm gonna chill out as I'm about to give it a taste after I say my grace. Okay. Taste it. This is how we got the food full. Yeah. I nailed it. I nailed it. It really tastes like the African okra soup when I go to the restaurants. Y'all, I'm about to sit back and watch my girl Kay. She got her sponsorship. They say most natural color contacts for dark eyes. So, cheers, guys. I'm about to sit back and catch up on her blogs because I've been so busy. Life been lifing. With my ginger beer. And I'm going to call it a night. So I just want you guys to know I love you guys. Say your grace. And let's catch up tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Can I name 10 good reasons why I'm getting up today to thank God? Number one, he gave me life. Number two, he allowed his son to die for the remission of our sins. Number three, he allowed me to find my missing brother. Four, he helped me come over my drug addiction. He, he allowed me to take care of my disabled mom. Number seven, he blessed me when I was on welfare to get off. He blessed me to get off Section A. He allowed me multiple streams of income. And because he is God, he's faithful and he never changes. <laughs>
Make this man fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Today is Monday, March the 25th. I'm about to be intentional. I'm going on my walk, me and my dog. Y'all, I've been drinking this iced coffee from Aldi's with this hazelnut. When I tell you it give me wings, it give me wings, guys. Yeah, I'm not be drinking this iced coffee. I literally take care of all my business. I bought a new flavor too, y'all. I bought Carmi Maca, um, Carmi Macchiato. But I'm gonna take Thomas these star beers. I'm gonna bag them up and take them to Thomas. Cheers, y'all. I don't know what get y'all wings. Might be Red Bull, might just be life. But this iced coffee, y'all, when I tell you, if I have 20 things to do in one day, I get it done. If I don't drink the iced coffee, I don't wanna get addicted to it though. But if I don't drink this iced coffee, baby, I be sitting on the couch watching somebody vlog. Letting light pass me back. So if I got to drink this iced coffee to get up and do everything that I have on my to-do list today, let it be so. But today is the second day. Me and Pink on our way for our walk through this park. If y'all drink iced coffee, let me know what flavor do y'all drink. I really love hazelnut. Sometimes I be going to McDonald's. Some McDonald's don't be having hazelnut. They just be having caramel. I'd be like, shut that motherfucker down, dear. If you ain't got no hazelnut coffee, just shut it down, dear. You know? <laughs> no, I'm just tripping out. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Cheers. So I'm about to get ready to get out of here. I'll see y'all on the walk. First stop, Home Depot. Second stop, let's go for our walk. Hey, y'all, look at this handsome young man. He decided to get up and go to work today, baby. Uh, hey, who? Yeah. How old are you? 21. How old? What's this, YouTube? Yeah. Uh, what up, YouTube? <laughs> Have a blessed day. You hey, y'all, I just showed y'all the young man in the front that was 21 years old. Check him out. Yo, what up? How old are you? Let's go. Let me see you drive that boy. Lead the way, baby. Let's go, 21, baby. Stay with him. Everything you hear bad about Chicago, some of that stuff the media put out. We got some good people in Chicago, baby. Hey, y'all, I found the beautiful princess. Let me show y'all. Hey, y'all. How old are you? 25. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Proud of you. Let's go. Y'all, this is my last person I'm going to do while I'm up at Home Depot. Come on, Pooh. He getting my electrical stuff. Come on, boo-boo. <laughs> Say hey to the vlog. What's up? What's up? How old are you? 22. We proud of them, y'all. <laughs> we proud of I'm proud of you, baby. Thank you. Appreciate that. So what I'm getting? Let me see. It's this one, right? The one you showed me? 20 amps. Fucking this bitch like a perm. Smack from the back of a perm. Ice. The bird. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Me and Pink, we enjoying our walk. Y'all see this big field? Hey, guys, please excuse me for the wind in this video. I lost my microphone, but I'll be getting one shortly. You know what? If you come out here early, like 6, 7 in the morning, do y'all know it be filled with elderly people? See, they know a secret we don't know. They know how to stay young. They know how to stay alive to 70s and 80s, y'all. 
I'm not saying go to the gym. I'm not telling nobody no more in my vlogs what to do. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. This week I'm off. I'm going to get up every day and walk. Sorry, I'm looking. I got a ponytail with a scarf on it. But I walk every single day. I used to be 277 pounds. I weigh 119 today. What you did to get it off, you got to do to keep it off. Exercise is the key. I love you. Love you too, God What's bless you. What's your name? My name is LaVette. All right, LaVette, we're going to take your advice. Have a great day. God bless Bye, you. Boo -boo. Keep up the good work, LaVette. You as well. All right, now we got to do what LaVette said. Oh, now, babe, tell us one more thing. Let's go. I used to be paralyzed from the waist down. The doctor said I would never walk again. I would never walk by myself. I was living in a nursing home. I walked four miles a day every day. And how long ago that was? 2013. The devil is a big liar. Whoa, and I stamp it. God, the devil a liar. God, Jesus is my Messiah. And this is Holy Week. What? Hallelujah. Is he? This is Holy Week. This and is when Jesus was in the garden. Yes. Yeah. Asking God to turn the bitter cup. Good morning, Good morning. Betty. That's How my other you? walking party. What's up, Betty? She hey, walks every up? day as well. Every day. Every, every day. day. You'll yes. see Betty out Come here, Betty. Every Come tell the fly. Betty says walking is so good for her mental. It is excellent. It's, a, it's good for my mental. It's good for, it's my, good for my mental. mental. It's clear my mouth. Come on, Betty. Say something to the people. Hello. Bye. 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 How long you been walking, Betty? Uh, about a year. And you walk what? Uh, Do you walk every hour. day? Yeah, every day, seven uh, days hour, a week. An hour, seven yes. days a week. I love you. Yes. Keep going. We got to walk. I told y'all, I don't care how I jump on this vlog no more. I'm not trying to just only pick up the camera when I have on my clothes. Because that ain't who I am. Every day, I, I, this is how I look daily. I just walk out the door looking like anything. Would it get better? Of course it will. This is going to get summer. Of course it will. Like the lady said, this is Holy Week. It's almost Easter. It's gonna be Palm Sunday. Was that? Was last Sunday? I think. Yeah, last Sunday was Palm Sunday. Y'all look. We could get up every day and serve men, going to work, trying to promote our businesses. We gotta give our life to the Lord. We gotta walk. If we can't walk, we gotta wiggle your toes, wiggle your hands. We gotta. Let's go. Let's go, Pink. One more thing. Before I make it to the store. I had Pink 11 years, y'all. She never switched up on me. Every time I walk in the door, she's always happy to see me. I don't know exactly how her day is going. But even when Maz is at his lowest, she always, always cheer me up. So it's my duty to take her for a walk every day. Hey, handsome. You always walking? Huh? You always walk? Yeah. How often? Basically every day. Let's go. Come on. Tell the world what they need to do. Huh? Tell the world. What's your name? My name is Willie. What you doing, Willie? Walking. How often you walk? Every day. How long you been doing that? About a year and a half. I'm proud of you, Willie. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yep. Bye, Willie. Bye, bye So, yes, I'm taking Pink for a walk. I'm off seven days. I'm going to try my best to walk seven days. Gone through quarter after two. Come through quarter after two. Yeah. Hey y'all. So I just left my niece's house. She threw my wig on. It's kind of puffy because it's old, y'all. It's kind of puffy because it's old. And I got it from two more for forty dollars, and I've been wearing it, baby. I done wore it over 40 times, but I'm gonna go home and try to play with it a little bit. She ain't had no straight and calm, but we up in food for less, and we are about to get the jerk seeds, jerk sauce, plantain, and some um, beans, red beans, rice. But I'm gonna I'm turn it y'all off to, I'm just gonna have to, um, look y'all, they don't even get hot. Baby, ain't no jerk sauce fun without it being hot. I told y'all I love hot stuff. But let me uh get what we gotta get, cause they playing Ruskin, you know. But while we in here, y'all don't get to be asking for stuff. Don't ask nobody for nothing. Don't speak to nobody. We don't know nobody. We get what we gonna get and we get a battle here. She says she ready for love. She 
getting down with that boy. She said ain't no pulling up. I meet her at the pool. She ain't trying to play no games. She think our is the same. And if you not on that forever shit, you can stay in your lane. I'm wondering why, why. Hey, y'all. I'm sitting here trying to put on my makeup because we are about to go outside. I just got my hair gig. I like my bob. Yeah, we about to go outside, y'all. And um, let's just spend y'all come spend the day with me. I don't really know exactly what my my plans is for today, but I got my hair did, and once I get my hair did, baby, you already know I'm going outside. When I get my hair did, baby, I need the world to see my hair. You think I'm putting this putting this on TV for nothing? I need y'all to see my hair. I need you see I need y'all to see me finna go outside and take y'all with me. Let's go see what's popping outside today in Chicago. How y'all doing? While we just sitting up chit chatting, y'all, let's talk about it. Hey, what y'all think about the P. Diddy situation? With Cassie, his his uh baby mama Kim Ford, 50 Cent finna do a documentary or something on him. How y'all feel? Do y'all think I could be a little honest about how I feel? Because I feel like anybody's entitled to their to their own opinion. It's in the public, um, and I could comment on it if I want to, right? So let me tell y'all how I feel about it. First of all, Cassie said he was having her doing all type of freaky stuff. He gay. And all this and all that. Let me tell you something. I don't have nothing to do, nothing against nobody gay. So, sometimes I think. I Sometimes I be feeling like people, as black people, I feel like we be giving up on our own people so freaking fast. See, like Puffy a little different than the R. Kelly story to me. Because R. Kelly, he was messing with minors, right? But P. Diddy, everybody he messed around with was grown and consented to it. So if you was a freak, if you was a freak and you went to his parties, even if you wasn't a freak, you heard that it be freaky stuff going on in his parties, then you a freak. Whether you want you the type of freak that want to watch or you the type of freak that want to join. But Everybody was there. I'm not saying that the whole entire party was freaky. I'm not saying that. Because celebrities, they throw good parties. Some people probably went to meet different people so they could see who they can learn from, build from. Uh, some people went to... Uh, what's the word I'm trying to get in my head, y'all? Some people went to... Uh, not navigate. What's the word, y'all? Some people went to um, network. That's the word I'm trying to get, y'all. Excuse me. Some people probably went to the party to network, and some people went for fun, right? But some people went because that's who they is. So if Cassie was in a relationship this man all that time, now you ain't with the man. Now you're trying to tear this billionaire down. I swear to God, we be some, it be some cruel people we be in a relationship with. Do do I do I condone do I condone some of the things they saying about him? Of course not. How did he went from being a freak, a gay man? He could be gay. He could be gay. But how did he go from being gay to being a of his baby mama? Now they say he's a sex trafficker. Do sometimes do y'all be thinking the media be trying to get us to get our man off what's what's really important out here? Like. Don't focus on the wars and who finna be the president and things of that nature. So they gon' they they putting this in a in a uh they they putting this in the lamb light. So we won't focus so much on who finna be the president. Go vote. Just sit around and watch social media and watch how Puffy's story turn out. They done raided this man's house. Then they say he went out of town. It's spring break. 
How we know he ain't already had a plan to take his kids out of town? How we know? We be so quick, y'all, to jump on the bandwagon and tear another black person down. We do. And I got my own opinion. I just, I got to see it for myself and then I apologize on my channel. I could just only pray that Puff Daddy wasn't a sex trafficker. For me, my opinion, I just don't, I don't, I don't see the evidence. I know y'all went in there to retrieve computers and the FBI went in there to retrieve computers and, and, and everything like that. But I, I, I just don't see it. Do I, do I know the man personally? No. But have I been watching him for years? Yes. I just don't see it. If he Is he gay? I can believe he gay. Because before, before all this popped off, we've been hearing a whole lot of stuff 50 Cent been saying he tried to come on to him years and years ago. And okay, 51 with it. But if I'm gay, I'm going to try to hit on another billionaire too. I'm going to try to hit on somebody attractive too. 50 Cent, very attractive man. A very powerful man. Got money. So what would I want the best? You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Sometimes I believe stuff be in the mixed media to throw us off from what's really going on out here, y'all. What's really going on. And I feel like us as blacks, we need to just but people be innocent until they prove it guilty. I hope he didn't have nothing to do with his baby mama Kim for death. I, I hope not. Ain't no money in the world worth nobody's life. I hope not. I hope he ain't had nothing to do with the Biggie Smalls. I hope not. I hope not. But sometimes, y'all, I think it's the media be... They, they, they trying to get all our black men, baby. They got Will for smacking the hell out of Chris Rock for... I know Chris Rock crack jokes. Nigga, crack jokes on your own damn wife sometimes. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody finna just sit there... And let you crack jokes on their wife. Every time they in the building supporting. Every time. The joke got to be on him. No, it don't. No, it do not. And now that took him down. I feel like every time a black man get ahead. They try to tear him down. Like, like look at Steve Harvey. Let's take a look at Steve Harvey. Not so long ago, Steve Harvey's in, in the media. They saying his wife slept with the uh slept with his security. Do I believe that? No. Could it be true? Yes. But I'm talking about my opinion. I just don't believe it. Sometimes wh why would you go sleep with the help when you with the man? Come on now. We got to start. We got to start riding with our people too. Ain't nobody talking about the Nickelodeon man. The white man who's supposed to be messing with kids. You know how many people I know kids been molested? You know how many friends I know been molested? That's serious what they said about R. Kelly. That's serious what they saying about him. But P. Diddy, that's serious if he's sex trafficking. That's serious. But, that's serious. But, yeah. Sometimes we got to support our own, y'all. Every time one of our black men get up there and get to making all that money, here comes some gold diggers. Some gold diggers. Like sometimes, y'all, we got to be careful who we even be around, baby. What? We got to be careful who we be around. Because believe me, everybody around you ain't wishing you well. Everybody around you ain't wishing you won. They not. So far as I feel about the PDD situation, I believe he innocent. Do I believe he was having Cassidy? Very much I do. Yeah, I do. Because he ain't the only man that want a woman to put and do sexual acts to him. But if I was her name and other people who he was sleeping with, I think that's wrong. What you mad about P. Diddy for? Why are you telling everybody else business? But I just want to state my opinion on that. I pray to God Puff Daddy ain't doing nothing to no, no kids. Because there's a lot of kids out here being sex trafficked. 
I pray to God P. Diddy ain't that type of man. Say I'm grateful for not anything but everything. Every loss I had to take, I took it on the chin.